everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a brand new version of YSL Black Opium to review. It is their new um, Parfum version. So I'm gonna be comparing this to the original and also the extreme version that came out a year or two ago. If you're new here, then hello, welcome to all of our perfumes. I have um, already done a video going through all the different versions of Black Opium. They also released one called Illicit Green that came out just after I did that video so I'll leave those reviews down below and I also have an article on my website that explains the difference between all the different black opium perfumes um, so I'll leave that linked down below as well and if you're a regular viewer do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up that really helps me Cool, so um, Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium is definitely one of the best selling fragrances at the moment. It's, um, in my view, is quite a evening party fragrance um, along the same lines as Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Tends to be a sort of 20s and 30 year old who's wearing it. Um, it's pretty good for lasting. It has um, a sort of white floral, orange blossom, jasmine heart, but then in the undertones you get a coffee coming through, almond, jasmine, um, and a patchouli which helps it last. So it's pretty strong lasting, it's quite sexy, it's quite interesting, and um, it's been a big hit ever since it came out and there's been a ton of different versions of it, like I said. They released um, an extreme version of it, and this one I thought was like their answer to sort of creating a very more intense version of the fragrance. They did used to have one um, called Intense that was blue. I think that's discontinued now, and but that one wasn't an intense version of the original. It was a more absinthe fragrance. So the extreme version is really quite strong. Some of the more feminine um, or lighter notes from the original have been removed and instead it's focusing just on like coffee, a vanilla, patchouli, um, so it definitely has that sort of coffee shop vibe, but then you also still have that feminine white floral, orange blossom and jasmine, and the patchouli in the base. Um, so I always sort of thought that if you love black opium and you want it to be even stronger, then the extreme is the answer to that. So this new Parfum version um, comes in a bottle which is just totally sort of shiny, matte, it's quite nice actually, um, rather than the glittery one of the original. This is the 30 mil, but it comes in um, two bigger sizes as well. The 50 mil and the 90 mil. Um, and the 90 mil is 135 pounds, I think. And this 30 mil I paid 75 for. So they're not cheap. They're more expensive than the original Black Opium. And that's because it is more concentrated. So. Hmm. So I have to say, this is not what I expected from Le Parfum. I thought it was gonna be super, super heavy. I would say that the extreme version is stronger than this. For me, this is actually more of a um, sort of spring, summer take on opium. It doesn't have the harshness um, and the sharpness that we are used to from black opium. So they've used um, what's called a solar note in here and that is a man-made creation that sort of recreates the feeling of the warmth of the sun on your skin, um, almost a bit sort of creamy, cashmere-y. And I do get that and it works well with orange blossom. Um, they've also got some actual orange in here and um, a bit of a cinnamon, which adds a slightly gourmand spicy feel to it. This is actually reminding me quite a lot of Lalique Soleil and the vibrant version that came out um, which also uses that solar note. It's got that same, really hard to describe, almost play-doughy feel but it's not plasticky, it's like really warm. It definitely smells classy. It definitely smells more classy than black opium. I think black opium has that association with going out, partying, you know, um, a night out, sort of the scent that you get when you walk into a bar. Um, whereas this feels much more sophisticated. So it's got a vanilla orchid in here and um, that sort of bourbon vanilla as well. But I'm not really getting that much sweetness from the vanilla. It's really quite subtle. I'm really surprised that this is more concentrated because it really doesn't feel like it's a normal sort of extract to parfum. I'm definitely getting that coffee, hint of cinnamon, but lots of that orange solar note. It's really pretty. 
it's it's nice it's classy it's just not that strong and if i smelled this without knowing what it was i never would have guessed that it was part of the black opium range it's totally different to what we've come to expect from the range so it's, i'm quite surprised by it this is really nice i think this is maybe a different audience to original one as well this is more something you'd wear in the daytime, spring, summer. You could wear this to the office, a professional occasion. It smells high end. It smells expensive and classy for sure. Hmm, it's quite sort of Moorish. I wanna keep smelling it. It's definitely the type of thing you could sort of spray all over. I also find it quite calming and relaxing. Um, I love soda notes. It sort of reminds me of that sort of happiness of sort of being, you know, having the sun and it's just a really lovely day outside and you have that sort of calming feeling. So I definitely like it, definitely Soaky approved. It's unusual, it's unique. And I think if you do like this, you should definitely try the Lalique Soleil perfumes because I think you'll like them as well. But really interesting, um, really interesting release from YSL. Um, I'm so pleased because there's been so many different versions of Black Opium now and they're all kind of starting to smell the same so I'm glad that they've ventured out and done something different. I think probably personally I would have called it something very different. It, at the moment it just looks like it's a stronger version, just a per extract version, whereas they could have, um, I don't know, put the bottle in a totally different colour, like a yellow, um, I don't know, made it stand out more to demonstrate how different it is from the others in the range. But yeah, definitely like it. So let me know if you've managed to try this yet. What do you think of it? Um, do let me know in the comments down below and what's your favorite version of Black Opium. I'll leave the links where you can get this down below um, all around the world alongside my article on the Black Opium range. But that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye.